What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then my name is Brianna, but you can call me Brie. And in today's video, I just caught this Pez Diablo is what it's called in Spanish, but I think it's called a devil fish or a dragon fish in English. I was throwing cast net all by myself just for fun in the lake that we have behind our house and I caught this, but I wasn't recording, but I decided that it can be a good video. I don't know if you guys have seen Blue Gabe's video where he caught one of these devil fish or dragon fish in Lake Okeechobee. He caught a ton and he, we don't really know where this fish come from, comes from, but he eats any fish, big or small, and he's kind of an invasive species and he's not really doing any good for the environment. So we're going to cook him. <laughs> I'm not sure what recipe we're gonna do with him yet, but I'm gonna fillet him up and then we're gonna make a nice recipe of him. So if you guys are wondering how he eats the fish, if you see right here, that's his mouth. He kind of sucks him up through there. Look, it's moving. Yeah, he's still alive. I just caught him like five minutes ago. You can see he doesn't have very many teeth and he's still moving. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on some ice and then we're gonna fillet him and make a good meal out of this guy. Alright guys, so me and my dad are going to fillet up the devil fish or the dragon fish. So he's got a bunch of tools here like his knife sharpener, his danko knives, and then these pair of pliers because if you haven't noticed already, these guys have very, very thick and tough skin. It feels like hard plastic. Separating the skin from the meat, trying to take it off. So we cut it through the middle and then cut it into sections. One right here, one there, and one there. So there's the first piece of skin that he got out. Left it really clean. And then the second one. So now half of our fish is uncovered. Filet. Oh wow. You can see the nice filet coming together. Same thing on the other side, but we're going to speed it up. And this is what we ended with. This is the fish all defiladed. Here's our skin. Looks really nice. We got some pretty big pieces. That's and not the skin. 
Oh, that's the meat actually. And then here's the skin. How clean it is. So guys, we're inside of the house now for a little bit of a change of scenery and we have our devil fish fillet. So we're gonna be making a ceviche with this fish. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna cut it up, what size it's gonna be, and we're gonna do the full recipe and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So we got our fish here and I'm gonna use our Danko knives to cut them up. So since these pieces of filet are like very skinny, I'd say, we're gonna cut them through the middle only one time. Normally we would do it a bunch of times to make some rows, but not this time. And now I'm gonna show you how big the pieces are gonna be. Those are pretty good sizes. Look at that. About the size of my finger, the tip of my finger. So there was our first piece cut up. Look at those very nice chunks. We're gonna move it aside over here and move on to our second filet. Same process, just cut it down the middle. And this is gonna be a very, very simple recipe. That's our second piece all cut up. Now we're gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna go get a bowl to put it in. So this is where they're gonna stay for now. And don't worry, I wash my hands before coming into the kitchen. We have this little pot filled with water that I did put to boil earlier. But I'm gonna put it now again because we're gonna boil our bottle fish in pan. So let's put this one on high and wait for it to start to boil. And then we're gonna put it to boil for about three minutes. The reason that we're gonna be putting the fish to boil is because as you guys saw when we were filleting it, it is a very tough fish and we caught this in a lake. So we're gonna boil it to make it a white color so it has, looks better for presentation. It gets a little bit tender and it's not so chewy. And we might take out any weird taste it might have from the lake. So it's a good step for the process. It's not gonna take out any of the flavor of the fish. And this is what chefs call blanqueándolo in Spanish, but in English we're gonna say it's like whitening out the fish, because when it boils, it's gonna get like white colored, because right now it's a little pinkish. So, we're gonna wait for it to boil, and we're gonna put it in. All right, it's already boiling, so let's put it in. All right. Not so much water, because it's not so much fish. So, here's your dragon fish. It's already starting to get white. Now by the clock, it's 11.38. And while that's boiling, I can show you guys some of the ingredients that I'm gonna use for the ceviche. So in this little bowl, we have some red peppers cut up with some cilantro. And I'm gonna use about six lemons for the amount of fish that I have. And I'm gonna cut them in half, and then we're gonna squeeze them into the ceviche. And I also have some black pepper, salt, and sriracha to add some spice. So guys, I don't know what I was thinking. It was actually 11.39, which means it would be at 11.41 when we would have to take out the fish. So here it is, 11.41. Might not look too good in the pot right now, but once I take it out and wash it, it's gonna look good. First thing you're gonna do is dump out the water, but I'm gonna use the lid so that the uh, fish gets out. All right, that's good. And there it is. I'll show you guys a better look now. And now we're gonna wash it out with regular cold water. There we go. Well, now that our fish is boiled, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the plate that has cilantro and red peppers. 
Something I really like is that all the pieces of fish are like little circles. Let me show you guys up close. But it's like a little swirl. It's pretty cool. I've never seen that design on a fish feet. And now the next step would be to cut up our six lemons and squeeze them into there and then add the salt and black pepper. I'm gonna show you guys a magic trick. Here, let's cut a lemon, ready? Lemon cut. Here's our salad, and the first thing we're gonna do is squeeze all of our lemon slices. We got 12 in total, and to here. And I know it might seem like a lot, but it actually comes to a very small amount. We got our lemon squeezer. Put the lemon in. Now, squeeze. Let me clean up the mess real quick. And there we go. Now the next step would be to mix this up a little. I'm gonna grab a spatula. This is what we're looking like right now. It looks pretty good. The next ingredient is some salt. Black pepper. You gotta be careful with this one because you can go overboard. Let's mix this and see what we got, and then maybe we'll add the sriracha. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit. Oh, and I have an idea. This seasoning is called tahini, if you guys have never heard of it. And I like to use this on almost everything because it has like a spicy, lemon flavor and this has a spicy lemon flavor with the sriracha and the lemons so it's perfect but it has a very very powerful taste so don't add too much and i also found this little container with some pineapple in the tiki so i'm going to drain out the juice so it doesn't get like a sweet juice and i'm just going to put the fruit in it so here it is with all the juice drained. Now let's put it. Ooh, that's gonna give it some color. So that pretty much finalizes our ceviche. So I'm gonna give you guys a close look. Check it out. That looks really good. Now we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes so it can kind of cook in the lemon. And then we're gonna try it out. So guys, it's finally time to taste test, and I have my ceviche and a spoon, so let's try it by itself first, and then I'm gonna have it with some crackers. This is kinda gonna be my lunch. So I'm gonna try to grab a little bit of everything. Lemon, red pepper, cilantro. Oh my gosh. It's so many flavors coming into your mouth at the same time. We have a little bit of sweet from the um, from the pineapple, a little bit of spicy from the um, tahini. The fish is very soft and tender. I love it. I didn't think the fish itself was gonna be good because we got it in the lake, but it surprised me a lot. Mmm. All right, now I'm just gonna try it out with these delicious crackers, and this is gonna be my lunch. Put a good amount. Mmm, right. delicious. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off today's video right there. That was delicious. And with the crackers, it's really good too. 
I'm gonna finish eating this for my lunch. But if you guys enjoyed watching today's video, please make sure to go down below, subscribe to the channel, and give the video a big thumbs up if you liked the recipe and you thought it looked really good. And tell me what you thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, mommy. She's serving herself a cracker. Let's see what she thinks of it. Oh my gosh, this looks great. Pineapple and all. Mmm. It is so good, seriously. You guys having seconds? So we wanna keep on trying just to make sure that it's good. Cause it just is so good sure. and this is lunchtime, so we're started. Mmm. What do you think, Luby? It's the best. So good. Looks like they really liked it. <laughs>